Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will discuss about how to make use of block consumer in a Flutter block button series. And for this example, we will be making use of age calculator app. So we have already discussed regarding the age calculator app with the help of simple qubits in our previous videos. Or if anybody is new to this video, I will recommend you to watch the previous video. I will also leave the link for the video at the card at the top right, so that you will get a better understanding of what we are about to discuss in the later part of this video, right? In the uh, previous video we, where we will be discussing about the age calculator app, we made use of only one state and we will be playing around with that one state which is the initial state itself. Rather in this tutorial we will be extending the same map with the help of multiple states and also make use of the listeners to handle the error events. Right? Say for example, this is the updated app and uh, the UI is the same. We have a simple text form field and if you just give a value for the age and press the calculate button we have a loading state. Followed by the loading state, we have the loader state which contains the stage of life for the value of age 12, right? And at the same time, if you try to click this calculate button without giving any value to the text form field, we provide a snack bar with the error message, right? This is the error state. Totally, we have four state which is the initial state, that is the initial UI which is getting loaded and as soon as the app is built. And secondly, we have the loading state which indicates the circular progress indicator and Third, we have the loader state which contains the stage of life variable. And finally, we have the error state that is the snack bar. Totally, we have four states and one, and one event, right? Now, let us jump into the coding part and update the app with the latest requirements. First, starting with the qubits, we have the states. And inside the states, as discussed, we have four states. One is the initial state. A second is the loading uh, followed by the loaded state and the error state right the totally we have four state and in the loaded state is where we'll be making use of the stage of life variable so we have uh, created a constructor for the same and this is all about the states what we'll be having in this app followed by the state let me move on to the events well this is the function which will be triggered upon the calculate button press and inside this event we need to check for a condition whether the age value that is the value entered in the text form field does contain any value and it is not empty therefore first we will be checking for that if the age value is empty the time will be rendering the error state which is the snack bar which we have already seen right we will be rendering the error state or else if the value if there is any value for the given input then at that time we will be rendering a loading state that is a circular progress indicator and that loading will last for around 3 seconds and after the duration of 3 seconds we will be displaying the loaded state and inside the loaded state is what we will be playing around this function to get the stage of life value right and with this we complete the events and stage for this application let's move on to the UI part inside the my home page first let me define the widgets for the initial layout we have a simple text widget at text form field and the button followed by which we for the loading we have a simple circular progress indicator and followed by the loading state we have the loaded state the the loaded state is just the same as the initial layout with the change in the text data alone right and followed by the loaded state the other state which is left is the error state and for the error state we will be just rendering a snack bar so these are the some of the basic components we will be which we will be using with the help of the conditional statement to render the particular layout upon the particular states. And inside the body we will be making use of the block consumer. Uh, the block consumer will be holding the listener and builder. First let us just define the listener. Inside the listener we will be making or we will be checking for the error state. That is if the value in the text form field is empty then at that time we will be making use of or we will be rendering the build error layout widget which in turn returns the snack bar. Or else if if the value is if there is any value present in the text form field then we'll be going for the builder and inside the builder we'll be checking for the loading state first if it is so then we'll be rendering the build loading layout which in turn returns the circular progress indicator or else we'll be checking for the loaded state if it is so we'll be rendering the loaded layout widget by passing the stage of life value or else if none of the condition gets satisfied then at that time we'll be rendering the initial input layout okay the difference between the listener and builder is that if we want to 
have the widget to be rendered for only for the only once in the while then at that time we'll be making use of the listener say for example the snack bar alert box or else navigation would be would go inside the listeners rather other widgets or the ui part will be rendered down inside the builder so this is the basic difference between the listener and builder well that's it now let us just run the app again first let us check for the error state uh, yes if the calculator button is pressed without giving any uh, value then we get the snack bar all right or else if we provide any value and just click the calculate button we get a loading indicator followed by which we have the loaded state and inside the loaded state it provides the stage of life for the value of age 10 right so this is working fine so this is all about how to manage multiple states and make use of block consumer and wrap them inside the listeners and builder appropriately to manage the block pattern in your flutter apps well that's it guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye